right, so Digital Shaman here, and this is the situation. I have the fairy tale oracle, and you know, what do you do when you purchase a deck and you're not sure about your ability to connect to it? Like, and this is definitely very first impression. Um, The artwork is very interesting. It's kind of giving you, like, evil, kawaii, uh, what's that stuff, manga? Um, yeah, and it's actually, it's a little intimidating. Um, it's also kind of giving me, what was that movie? Nightmare Before Christmas? So I don't know. So wh wh what do we do when we're in this situation? So let's first educate ourselves. Like what is going on here? What exactly? Exactly. That's my very first question. What are the fairy tales? What is the author trying to convey? And do I connect to their message? Because, you know, if you don't connect to the author's intent and you're working with the deck and you're infusing your own energy, that's going to be a challenge. Um, so, essentially, just not trying to read, excuse me, not trying to read this whole thing here in, in a minute. But I'm reading this as like a spin on, y'all see here, Hansel and Gretel, Little Mermaid, so Rumpelstiltskin. So, I take this as a modern play on I guess those fairy tale stories that we heard I mean she's writing a lot here <laughs> um I think there's some notes in there about femininity she talks to here about the dark and twisted places and I think that could be just being honest I am a love and light girly and I think that's what I'm sensing that these cards have I'm not saying a darker message but it's a little bit of a darker vibe yeah vibe would be the perfect word that i'm used to working with um but let's first just see how many cards do we have oh we have 44 44 oracle cards um and let's just kind of see what's what's going on because even with like looking at the artwork here at the top you kind of like have a day of the dead but you know really it does come off being super feminine like and the eyes do draw you in the different position the different color um, yeah, that's what, what jumps, jumps out with this deck. But yes, we are on the fairy tales because we see Little Mermaid, Puss in Boots, Cinderella, Goldilocks. <laughs> so I would first say, you know, for me to figure out angles to connect to this dot, to, excuse me, to this deck, clearly I need to go back to my, um, my Disney 101 or not even that because, you know, when it all starts with Mother Grimm. And back in the English olden days, <laughs> you know what I mean? You really can even rip that apart and say it really goes back to myths. Myths that were turned into fairy tales, which were turned into stories, which then became Disney movies. So let's check the hierarchy. But yeah, actually, I, I remember I, I liked Rumpelstiltskin. Some of these, I don't even know. And maybe that's also why I was like not rocking with this deck. Because I didn't even realize it, it's mapped to all these... Fairy tale stories like the red shoes. Who this makes me think is this the Wizard of Oz? Like what's going on? Like yeah, that was that was Dorothy. Oh, she stole the shoes from the Wicked Witch. <laughs> See, I think I'm in a different hands. Christian Anderson. Oh wow. See, I'm in the wrong fairy tale. This is very, this is a very detailed though. Oh, I love the, you know, your girl loves a nice, nice little, um, concise outline. Oh yeah. I like how they cite the story. I really like the back of the deck. Like I, I like the text here. Mm. Oh, I love this. Reassert yourself as the sovereign of your own life. Yeah, well, I could say my intuition is the alarm is, is turning on, meaning I think the artwork was a little, not even intimidating. I, I would say, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful by saying it was a turn off. You know how like you look at something at first glance, you're like, eh, that's not for me. That's how it was. But now that I am like reading more, getting a little bit of a background, like I, I really connect. I felt the author's intent. I think that's the best way. Like I'm not going to shade... Well, I guess the way my way I'm learning here about my intuition, I felt like my logical mind and maybe a little bit of my emotional mind didn't connect to the surface level of the deck. Like, oh, I don't know about this artwork or I don't know about these late, these young girls being drawn here. 
But intuitively, I definitely felt something reading that, that card. So uh, I, I'm just saying that to say that, um, and I know that this author has made other decks. So I'm just stamping the legitimacy because I hope that y'all can kind of read, read between my words of, even if it's not a deck for you, it's all opportunity to work with your intuition. And what do you feel? And if you don't feel anything, why is that? So I'm just saying to take note, again, this video is not necessarily about the fairy tale oracle. It's about working with your mind, your intuition, all your feelings when you're dealing with the deck. That's a little bit different that you don't naturally, oh, I love this. Oh my God, I'm just getting spiritual messages here and there. When you have to almost work a little harder to tap in. Um, yeah, so I would say, like, the more I even look at this artwork, yeah, this artwork is, like, these eyes, like, it's, it's, it's almost like the cards are staring at you, which you done did, and that could be a little intimidating. Wow. Oh, look at this one. This one's so pretty. Oh, my God, with her, uh, tank top, with her, um... I know that's a is that the universal alm symbol. I love the colors. <laughs> Fairy ointment? Not ointment though. <laughs> oh, that's funny. If you wipe pollen gently across your eyes, that's a whole different kind of ointment. You'll be sneezing all day. Oh, wait a minute. So this, this deck is making me go back because I, I do love reading myths. Like, I'm like, I know my myths, but I, still, I don't know my fairy tales like that. Because I'm now I'm, I'm into the story. I'm like, okay, you rub, what, where, where was it? Rub pollen across your eyes. You see fairies. <laughs> oh, they tell you the story at the bottom. That's good that they do that. Oh, traditional folktale from Cornwall. Yeah, I, I like that. I think that's that's the thread that, that weaves me into this deck. Like, I love storytelling. Hello, Sag, Moon, Sag, Rising, <laughs> Neptune, and Sag. I love a good creator myth. Um, Yeah. So, look at that. Like, I started this video kind of like, I don't know about this deck, y'all. And now I'm like, oh, yay, I love all the fairy tale messages, which I do. I do. But this this deck is intense. These, 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 uh, faces, they may look cute, but they're calling you out. <laughs> and that's all I got to say about that. Wow, Hansel and Gretel. Yeah, I, I can respect the research done with weaving in the tails. Yeah, this, yeah, this deck has lots of jump off points. But okay, y'all, we're going to go ahead and end. So, Fairy Tale Oracle. Get up, wow, Thumbelina. I have forgotten, wow. Get up, get back up on your fairy tales. Get into this deck. Download Beauty Everywhere Oracle and have some fun. All right, y'all. Digital Shaman here for the Age of Aquarius. I'm out.